I want to start off the video by letting everyone know that uh, Bow and Arrow is now going to be the supplier for the Brian Bush Kit Fox door handles. Um, these work on the model five through seven. They allow you to open the door and lock it in position for airflow for warmer flying days. And they do fit right onto the Kit Fox factory door handle block. Um, so if you guys are interested in a set of these, you can go ahead and contact us at bowandarrow at yahoo.com or you can visit the website and I'll put a link to that in the description. Uh, I started working on these wingtips. I got the the position and strobe light on the wingtip all drilled and ready for the bracket. It's good to go. Started looking at the craftsmanship on these, and I realized because of this this step here, the mold has to be made in two pieces because otherwise the mold would get stuck in there. Um, but this seam is just atrocious. I mean that's a Sixteenth and eighth inch lip all the way around and then the top part doesn't line up with the the bottom part at all So there's a there's a big step right here. That's going to need a lot of fill work Not impressed with these at all this is uh, <laughs> These a lot to be desired. They're heavy um, It's delaminating in here There's tons of chop strand just sticking in here. That's sharp. You gotta watch your fingers um yeah, I'm not, not impressed with these at all. So although there are some flaws in these wingtips, I'm going to go ahead and shape them up and fit them to the wing and uh, use them for now. The plan down the road is to do um, something out of carbon uh, to lighten it up. These are quite heavy, and I think there's really room for improvement uh, as far as the wingtips go. All right, so after working on these for a while, here's just some of the problems I ran into. There's quite a few pockets, like air bubbles inside the resin layup that uh, you need to sand down completely to get rid of you know, any uh, imperfection there. And we're gonna have to go back in and fill that in with, with super fill, or if it's really a weak spot, we're gonna fill it back in with epoxy. Um, so you're just gonna have to take your time with these and fix the imperfections in there. But with enough time and work, we can get them where they're passable. Little tip also, guys, grab some 60 grit sandpaper and sand the inside of these first. Get rid of those real sharp needle-like uh, pieces of the chop strand that dried in there. They can, they can stab you pretty good. So I know there's a lot of time lapse, but I'm going to go ahead and leave this running just to show you guys how long it actually took to do these. Um, this isn't time lapse, but this you know took a good portion of the day to get the uh, wingtips just ready for the super fill to start doing the bodywork. And this is just getting them prepared for the bodywork. This isn't actually the you know the final sands at all. This is just getting it down to where we can start getting close to having the shape right.
All right, now we're getting into using the superfill. It's finally prepared to put the first coat on. So I'm going to cover up all the areas that need the additional fill, and then I'm going to let them set overnight, and we'll get back to sanding them tomorrow. All right, so let's get going on the sanding and bodywork on these. Uh, we'll do the sand down on the first coat of the superfill, and then we'll have to go back in with another layer and let that dry overnight, and then do some more sanding again. All right, now that we got the bodywork done, I'm gonna go ahead and mount up the wing tips to the wing. We mark off a four inch spacing to drill these holes. And you start the, at the aft end, uh, picking a location that's not gonna be too thin to put the screw into. So you're gonna move up from the trailing edge enough to give you the width of your screw that's gonna eventually hold the tips on. So I did the top first, then moved on to the bottom uh, with the spacing at four inches. And you start out with a number 40 uh, drill. We're gonna enlarge those later um, when we put the nut plates on. Wingtips are done, in place, body work's all done. The holes are cut for the wingtip brackets, or for the uh, strobe position light brackets. The holes cut also for the landing light and the uh, arrow LED for both of those. Um, all the holes are drilled. I need to go ahead and drill them out for the size of the screw all the way through. Then we're gonna put the nut plates on the back and rivet those in place. So that's the other thing I'll do today and then the wingtips will be all done. The reason I'm doing those right now is I wanna go ahead and mount up the lights because all the wire is run, and I've got extra wire length so that I didn't end up being short. And that wire, I'll then pull it tight up here, and I'll cut out what I don't need, and I'm gonna put these uh, connectors in here so that those lights will be able to, I'll be able to disconnect those so the plan is to go ahead and finish those up today, and I need to get those in the paint booth. So the paint booth, I've been waiting to get enough stuff together to, to warrant getting it all out and all the equipment out again. So I've got the wingtips to do, flap rounds up top, and then the fairings for the tail. That leaves, the only thing left is the cowling. Um, I could wait until that point, 
so I could do them all at the same time, but the cowling is going to be the very last thing I tackle. So what I would like to do is get this other stuff done, painted, and that's going to be a epoxy primer on all those, and then a black enamel will be the paint that goes on that. There you have it. Uh, wing tips on and almost complete. We'll go ahead and get the uh, nut plates in place and then get them ready for paint. So all the body work's done, the final sanding's done, just need to be cleaned up and primed. So that's taken about, I'm on my third day with these, and the main reason for that is you can get a you know a couple hours of work on it, but when you get to where you have to put some more super fill in to do the body work, once you put that on, you have to wait overnight for it to dry to the point where you can sand it. So you kind of work them, put the, the uh, fill on, set them aside, go to something else, come back the next day. So this is the third day on these. Everything's drilled, like I said, and mounted and uh, ready to ready to go. I guess the wing tips are on, screws are in place, nut plates have been all uh, completed. I'll show you a, a couple things that need to be addressed still other than paint. So if you can see this little lip right here, it's not a smooth transition to the wing tip. A couple ways to handle that. I could have filled this in with the super fill and sanded it, but because I did the covering and then the wing tips, um, I didn't want to damage the fabric even with putting something over it to sand it flush. So instead what I'm going to do, it's only from this screw forward, is put some uh, something behind the wing tip. I'll build it up from the underneath side to bring it out. And it's really only two screws, maybe three. Probably do some thickening right there. And then the rest of it is pretty darn good. So it'd be as simple as putting a couple washers behind there, but I think I'll probably do something more permanent, thickening that up and just raise it out that eighth of an inch or less that it needs to come out. Um, so that's how I'm gonna handle that. Should be a good smooth finish when it's done. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this one up here. Uh, there's your wing tips for the Kit Fox 7 Apex build. Um, obviously once they get painted, I'll show them again, but the lights are in place temporarily. I still need to do the front uh, lens for the landing light. So there's a little bit of work to do there, but basically there are your wing tips.